we'll now talk about something new objectives of testing so the first objective of testing is to evaluate requirement user stories design and code suppose we have been given the requirement according to the objective of testing we have to evaluate this requirement to see if this has all the information we need for our implementation listen to this carefully for web page when the login details are given the next page shall load in few milliseconds if login details are not correct then show a pop up when i evaluated this i had three questions in my mind one how much time all they have written is few milliseconds how many milliseconds is that 1 2 3 it's unclear so this is my first question the second question is which page will load next they have told us that the next page shall load but we don't know what type of information this page contains and finally what is the pop up content here they are saying that a pop up will show up if the login details are incorrect but what pop up do they want shown they haven't mentioned that so these are the questions we will ask the customers i hope that made sense the objective of testing here is to evaluate the requirement user stories design and code the second objective of testing is to verify if specified requirement is fulfilled so after getting more specific information we have to check and see if the customer's requirements have been fulfilled after asking our three questions here is what the customer sent back if login is correct go to the next page next page shall load in 500 milliseconds so now we have the timing information we needed the next page shall contain personal information this is also an answer we needed if login detail is not correct pop up shall appear this is fine the last requirement is pop up message will be password or user id is incorrect so earlier we evaluated the requirements now we are verifying whether we are meeting all the requirements so the code we write should fulfill all the requirements laid out here now the third objective is to validate that the test objectives are fulfilled we have already seen the five required objectives asked for by the customer now we have to run the code and see if we are fulfilling these objectives on this stage we don't have access to the code it's a black box invisible to us we only have access to the input and output on the input side we will give the correct user id and password then we will observe whether the next page is loading in 500 milliseconds and whether the second page contains the personal information it is supposed to so we will only give the input and assess the output a second test case is also required here where we input the incorrect user id or password then we have to validate that the pop up contains this particular message this is why this stage is called validating because the code is running it is dynamic so i hope these three points were easy to understand the first one is to evaluate the requirements the second point is to verify if the specified requirements are fulfilled and finally we validate if the objectives have been met now let's look at three more points the fourth point is to develop confidence the objective is to increase or maintain the level of quality if you already have a good quality product then you must maintain it otherwise you have to increase its quality the fifth point is to prevent defect from passing to a higher stage if you can find a defect in your stage then the objective is to try and find all the defects and not let any pass on to a higher stage and the sixth point is detect failure and defects this is why we do testing to prevent defects from passing on to a higher stage and the way we do it is to detect failure and defects i hope these three points are clear to increase confidence in the quality of the product prevent defects from passing on to a higher stage and to detect failures and defects let's tackle three more objectives 
The seventh point is information. We have to gather information so we can provide them to the stakeholder. Like how many test cases have we done? What is our coverage? We need to know these things to tell the stakeholder. Eighth point is risk. What is the reason we are doing these testings? It's because we want to reduce the risk. Why do we want that? So customers don't find fault in our products. So if there are five defects present in a software and our testing reveals four, then we are reducing the risk. Coming to the ninth and last point, we have to make sure that we comply with the contract we have with our customers and the legal standards of the industry we are in. Fulfilling legal contracts is our final objective. These were the nine objectives of testing. Let me summarize them for you. The first was to evaluate work products such as requirements, user stories, design and code. The second point is to verify if all specified requirements have been fulfilled. The third point is to validate whether the test objectives are complete and work as the users and stakeholders expect them to. So we have to verify, we have to validate and we have to evaluate. The fourth point is to build confidence in the level of quality of the test object. So we have to increase the quality or confidence in the software. The fifth point is to detect and prevent defects. So we have to detect the defect as well as prevent it from passing on to the next stage. The sixth point is to provide sufficient information to the stakeholder, especially regarding the quality of the test object. The next point is to reduce the level of risk in inadequate software quality. The last point is the law. To comply with contractual, legal or regulatory requirements or standards to verify the test object's compliance with such requirements or standards. So that was the summary of testing objectives and this was all from this video. Until next time, happy testing.